All right, welcome, friends. Well, guess where we are? Take a look. I'll give a shiny nickel to anybody who knows where that is. Well, I may have hinted at it in a previous video, but we took off from the Maldives after our bumpy landing the other day uh, for Bali. And we took off six hours, one minute, 42 seconds ago. Uh, took off about 10.45 at night. Uh, and local time here in Bali, we are at a scheduled arrival time of 8 a.m. It is currently 7.47 a.m. So we're going to be about on time. We're 51 miles out and cleared down to 15,000 feet. Slow to 265. Stunning visuals. Awesome volcanoes. We'll go down to 12,000. That's the real whiskey. Uh, but descending right now at uh, 1,800 feet per minute. Right there. Through 14,700. Knots indicated 266. Set that at 260. Enter our frequencies we need to do now. ILS, running on runway 27 via the GALK 4 star. And the ILS frequency is 110.3. The VOR frequency at Bali at Ngu Ra Rai. I don't know if I'm mispronouncing that. If I am, sorry. Ngu Ra Rai International Airport. Ngu Ra Rai International Airport. Uh, VOR there is 116.2. Set our bearing 2 to nav 2. And see if we've got anything. There it is. BLI. 40.9 nautical miles out. That's good to see. Probably a little too, still too far to uh, expect any ILS data yet. But uh, continue slowing here to 255. Here's our approach, you can see. From Taz to Tawan, and then Benoa is our IAF, our initial approach fix. And then these are artificial waypoints, and then it's just straight in. It's a 12.2, 12.2 nautical mile final. So I like that. About 10, 12 miles is about normal, but uh, Longer the better, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, we're cleared down to 12,000. We're leveling out at 12,000 right now. Let's see if we hopefully we continue to have uh, communication from ATC. There it is. Down to 7,000, says the 3 Whiskey. Descend and maintain 7,000 feet, Cessna Tree Bravo. Use our altitude selector right here. Right here. To set 7,000. There we go. Okay, we're good. Just l look at that. Holy Christ. That is one hell of a volcano. No idea what it's called. Uh, it is called Mount Agung. A-G-U-N-G. -G. I'll have to look that up. Mount Agung. Continue slowing. Set down to 240. Uh, I was shocked to read how I was doing my usual research on the, on the area. Bali is a really busy airport. 20, like 25 million passengers. And only one runway. So hopefully we don't have any traffic conflicts on this flight. 35 miles out, 10,200 feet. That's just about damn near perfect. Continue slowing, 235. Shallow outer descent rate to 1,600 feet per minute. Beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. 7.50 in the morning here in Bali. Flew through the night, obviously. Headed east. Greeted the sunrise. It's always one of my favorite pastimes. And, um, you know, I'm flying in real time. So here in Southern California, it's 4.50 p.m., 16.50 hours. But uh, here in uh, Indonesia, the island of Bali, 7.50 Monday morning. This time tomorrow, I'll be regretfully getting ready for work. Continue slowing, 225. 31 miles out and 8,800 feet, perfect. Shallow to 1,500 feet per minute. Coming in on 7,000, hopefully they don't stop talking to us. 
Airport's off to our one o'clock, roughly. Search me. We'll find it. We better find it. Down to 3,000 and we'll Descended expect the approach. We're cleared to Benoa. Benoa's right here. That's good. That's all, that's all great news. 26 miles out, 7,200 feet. We'll shell out the descent rate even more. 1,000 feet per minute. Nice, comfortable, conservative, pleasant approach. Beautiful morning here in Bali. Local weather, 70 degrees, partly cloudy. Winds are out of the north-northwest at one mile an hour. Now we're talking. <laughs> After yesterday, I mean, not yesterday, but the other day when I landed the Maldives, I was not a happy camper. 25 miles out, 6,700 feet. We got some phenomenal views here as we're coming in over the island. Clouds look fantastic. Really, really good. Never been to Indonesia in my life. Nor in the sim. Is the approach handoff? Oh, look, I see, um... Going to one one nine or decimal tree says the tree I see uh, wind turbines. See them? Awesome. It's a 200. Zero zero. We are 22 miles out. We're at 5,900 feet. Let's fix the altimeter. What'd you say? 2988? 2988. So we'll go over here and fix our altimeter. 2988. Also on the standby. Good. Very good. Slow to 195. Just incrementally. We're 20 miles out. 5,600 feet. ILS is now receiving. See the white diamond here? We'll shallow out the descent rate. Down to 500 feet per minute. We'll switch bearing one over to nav one. And that confirms it. There it is. IDPS, India Delta Papa Sierra. That is the ILS uh, identifier for uh, runway 27. So, so far, you know, shouldn't say anything, but so far it's going damn well. Look at that. That's the, it's called Penida, Penida Island, what we're flying over right now. That is not Bali proper. We've got a little right turn coming. We're 18 miles out. We can get to about, we'll be 180 when we get to the IAF, which we will be. Just about there. Everything's going great. Only 58 seconds. Estimated time en route. There's the ETE right there, 56. And showing three nautical miles, 2.9 nautical miles to Benoa. All looking really good. Go ahead and depressurize here at 4,800 feet. The landing lights on. Yeah, long flight over the uh, Indian Ocean, but uh, looking forward to it. Down to 2,500. That's the real whiskey. Let's do a notch of flaps. Thousand five hundred. Yeah, I pulled up the approach plates. There's not much, but I was able to, to determine that you're supposed to be at three, no lower than three thousand feet at Benoa. And now that we're turning final, I'm going to wait till we get down to twenty five hundred feet, but get ready to activate the nav. Might as well do it now. There we go. Perfect. Wow, man. When this works, it's so nice. Slow to one six five, or excuse me, one seven five. Landing lights are on. One notch of flaps. AOA looks good. There's the runway. Perfect. Perfect. Increase our descent rate slightly to twelve hundred feet per minute. Still pretty reasonable, comfortable. Look at this. Contact in Q 
There's the tower handoff. We'll increase our descent rate slightly again to 1500 feet per minute just to chase this glide slip diamond. We're going to zoom in on the MFD. Nice. Oh, great. Winds are calm. 2988 cleared for the approach. Activate EPPR. Instantaneously grab the glide slope. I mean, guys, can you believe this? <laughs> Man, when it's like that George Papard's line in the A-Team. I love it when a plan comes together. Let's go outside. Put down our gear. She is. Staying at the Four Seasons, naturally, here in Bali. Very much looking forward to it. Wish I were in real life. Let's do another second notch of flaps. That's a better view. Good. Everything's great. We're right on the glide slope. We're perfect. There's the runway. I see red and white on the poppies. We're going to go full flaps. Excellent. We're going to slow us down to our approach speed, which I should remember, but I don't. I think it's one, three, VEPS, one, three, eight. All right. Okay, we're fully configured. We're stable. Oh, winch. Winds changed a little bit out of the south, but only at three knots. That shouldn't pose too much of a problem. Disconnect the auto throttle. Had to bring that airspeed up a little bit. I don't know. I had it once set at 138. It was leveled at 133. No problem, though. Okay, gears reconfirmed down. Full flaps. Landing lights are on. We're depressurized. We're all configured. And there's the runway. Dead ahead. Oh, this is beautiful. What a gorgeous morning here in Bali. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Look at the resorts. Oh, man, does that look nice. Two-mile final. Two final. Pop up in our seat just a tad. Yeah, a little wind coming from our left, from the south. Three knots. Not like the 15-knot wind that we had to deal with. In uh... There's our passenger's view in the Maldives. Hey, hotels. That kind of looks like a dump. Hopefully that's not the Four Seasons. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. Hey, get ready for the call out. 500. Autopilot. Autopilot. I have the airplane. There are four reds on the poppies, so. There we go. Two and two. Ninety-eight hundred foot long runway will be okay. There you go. All right. Well, that was way better than Maldives. <laughs> that was right on the center line. I'll take it. I'm gonna exit right. If my notes are any. Any guide? Fantastic! Well, thank you, friends, for joining us on this awesome flight. This was great. I'm going to do a high-speed exit right here. You're lucky enough to get a high-speed uh, taxiway? Take it.
eight decimal fight for Cessna Tree Bravo whiskey. Beautiful morning. Not a bad place to spend a Monday. And here at Ground Cessna November Tree Four Tree Stop Bravo our timer. Whiskey, taxi to parking. Cessna November Tree Four Tree Bravo Six hours. Sixteen minutes. Using taxi. Oh, we're right on top of it. Oh my god, this just gets better and better. Look at this. Ramp 4 is only tenth of a mile away. <laughs> I love it. Let's uh, bring in those uh, spoilers. Oh man, so beautiful. Welcome to Bali. Local time. My lo I'm showing local time 8.01 and then we had an 8 o'clock arrival time. How good is that? Look at that. Bringing those flaps. Perfect. And make sure our lights are addressed. Taxi lights are on, pulse lights off, landing lights are off, and we are ready to rumble over to our parking spot. Man, this is this is great. Oh, I love it. I love being close to parking. Ramp four. Welcome to Bali. I don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to fly again, so. This is not a bad place to be stuck for a couple of days at the Four Seasons in Bali, right? I mean, seriously, good, good lord. I'm going to make an executive decision here and follow this yellow line in. Let's get back in the cockpit. Lined up. I don't even need our taxi lights anymore. He wants me going left, but I'm not going to because I'm looking at the goddamn map. No, I shouldn't be going left. There we go. Perfect. I'll take that. I'll take that. Wow. Parking brake. Right engine. What a beautiful approach into a beautiful area of the world. I mean, seriously. Turn off our pedostatic. Go outside. Look at that. Not half bad, friends. Three Bravo Whiskey is now in Bali. Man, this plane has just gone everywhere with me. Oh, they put me at a gate. Oh, bitchin'. I'll take it. Looks like a gorgeous morning. A little cooler than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's June. June uh, 6th. D-Day. Remember D-Day. Don't forget about D-Day. 72 degrees, partly cloudy in, uh, ba in Bali at the moment. But gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Sun rose at 6.29 a.m., sets at 6.07. The uh, time, the, the sun sunset, sunrise stuff is diff is not as dramatic here because we're so close to the equator. Anyway, there we are. See that? BLI, that's the VOR we tuned into. Anyway, this was fantastic. Really fantastic. I, I almost don't want to stop, but we've reached our destination, so we have no choice. And this isn't a bad place to stop. We still have 29% fuel. And this was 2,768 nautical miles. That's great. This plane. Man, what a range on this plane. All right, let's drop the logbook screen. Stop with the jibber-jabber. There we go. So, total time of flight, 6 hours, 15 minutes. 6 seconds. Night, of which 4 hours, 41 minutes was night, out of which 1 hour, 33 minutes was day. So, another night takeoff. Not sure none of those. Flying on the opposite side of the world when you insist in flying in real time, you're destined to get some night takeoffs, that's for sure. Anyway, thanks for joining us on our fun uh, approach and landing at Bali at Ungurai, uh, excuse me, Ungura Rai International Airport, Bali, Indonesia. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And a fun approach. And a, uh, I'm not, uh, I, I owned my botched landing at the Maldives. Botched but safe landing at the Maldives. Uh, but this one I'm going to brag about because I thought that was pretty damn smooth. Anyway, thanks for joining us, and we hope you have a great week ahead. 
And uh, don't forget about uh, D-Day today. Anniversary, 1944, June 6th. Have a good one.